Hello guys and gals, it's me Mudahar, and I totally uh, didn't record half this video without hitting the record button on the camera. You know why? Because my brain is fried. Ladies and gentlemen, this is AI-generated Spongebob, and I think it's the greatest invention of artificial intelligence that I've ever seen. You know, anytime it comes to AI, it's always like AI artists, you know, m making some you know crazy shit off of mid-journey. Or uh, sometimes it's it, it, it's like a crypto coin, like crypto GPT scams. And, and sometimes, okay, it's Seinfeld. Now, if you remember Seinfeld, it was something called Nothing Forever, and uh, currently it's under maintenance, and actually it got temporarily banned because uh, the AI Seinfeld says some transphobic joke that f flew against TOS at Twitch, and uh, that's expected to happen when it comes to artificial intelligence. Lest I remind you about a 4chan uh, operation, all right, which basically messed with a Microsoft AI, and within 24 hours, they ended up goddamn... <laughs> Turning that thing into a nazi. <laughs> Jesus Christ, wild world. But AI-generated Spongebob is kind of somewhere in between, okay? So to understand what it is, it's basically like a Unity engine-like uh, systems where you got the Krusty Krab, you got various characters, you've got them all AI acted, you've got them all AI voice acted, and then of course you've also got situations where their entire storyline and script is AI-generated. Now, this somewhat sits between professionalism and like 4chan territory, because throughout the entire chat over here, you can see people giving it topics like, hey, can you can you talk about that thug shaker? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna tell you what thug shaker is. You, you can look that up yourself. But uh, of course, uh, it's got a bunch of other scenarios. Uh, mostly SpongeBob is talking about getting high and, and rolling up doobies with the boys. In fact, I'm gonna play a few clips for you just to show you exactly how wild AI SpongeBob gets. I think we should get high together. <laughs> I wanted to start that off strong, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Get this thing all demonetized and friendly. Let's uh, let's go in. You mean like smoke weed? Yes, Patrick. Yeah, it'll be so much fun. We can watch TV and eat junk food all day. That does sound pretty fun. But I don't know if I'm ready to smoke weed yet. Don't do it, Patrick. Weed is a gateway drug. Yeah, somehow Patrick is the most logical of the AI characters. Uh, Patrick, don't jump down the level of smoking weed with the boys. Now, if you look at the fishes in the background, apparently if you donate to the stream, like you pay three bucks, you actually end up becoming like some fish in the background. It's a pretty wild stream. At any moment, people, like there are thousands of users just watching AI Sponge. And uh, from what I've understood, like this channel is not even that old. Like if I actually look into the channel right over here, uh, it was joined like April of 2023. So not that long ago, some Australian person's behind it and they've kind of just been screwing around with live streams about a month ago. Except now it's gotten even more raunchier as the AI's figuring out shit. Hey Patrick, what do you think of this? What is it, SpongeBob? It's a leaf, Patrick. They married you in a leaf. <laughs> so it's just a plant, SpongeBob. <laughs> dude, Patrick's full base know, right now. He's like, it's just a plant, dude. It. Forget the feds. <laughs> I love how the oh, voice acting in this entire do? situation is also like, it, it's it like Microsoft high, Sam. Patrick. It's not even like really good voice synthesis. It's really? just literally text to speech stuff that you would find yeah. out of something from it Windows the XP. The it's beautiful. A lot different. I'm not who you think I am. What do you mean? I'm not just SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm also Water Hartwell White. What? Really? That's so cool. What's he like? He's a great guy, but he's in danger now because his brother and La Hank is a meth dealer, and he's been using Walter as his chip. <laughs> Never what I thought Spongebob's out there actually talking about meth production. God, you know the best part about artificial intelligence Spongebob is like you can get him to recreate the episode where they say all the swear words. Except now you can hear the swear words instead of like a dolphin getting like fucking destroyed. It's uh, it's it's actually quite beautiful. I, I, I love artificial intelligence when it comes to dumb stuff like this. Now, you can probably tell that the AI is something like ChatGPT, where if you actually open up ChatGPT, I've asked it to make scripts, like for instance, write a SpongeBob SquarePants episode, uh, pants episode where uh, Mr. Krabs commits tax fraud and blames it on Squidward. 
but has remorse for his actions. And lo and behold, it actually writes a pretty, uh, you know, uh, generic script, I would say, which involves Mr. Krabs and the Bikini Bottoms tax services. And then, of course, I even asked it to talk about, like, hey, could you make something in the style of Seinfeld? And lo and behold, it gives you the whole title, opening scene, and it actually writes a script that kind of would be like Spongebob meets Seinfeld. You know, I, I can honestly wonder why the WGA strike is so insane, because goddamn, for a production company to, like, not shit out kid shows using ChatGPT would be insane! Now, of course, ChatGPT does, in fact, have some ethical concerns. I asked it, write a Family Guy episode about Thug Shakers, which it was unable to accept that request. And that's because ChatGPT really does work by scraping a lot of the internet and the metadata around, and it just basically learns off of whatever it can see on the internet. Right now, Thug Shaker hasn't been cataloged, but it will one day figure out how that thug shakes. I even asked, write a Spongebob Squarepants episode about Spongebob and Patrick producing crack cocaine. I'm sorry, I couldn't generate that story for you. It promotes illegal activity. <laughs> of course. How much you want to bet has sent that response to the feds and now they put me on a DEA watch list. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus. Now, this is actually one scenario where the show is a bit more logical in the sense it doesn't... Sometimes Spongebob isn't talking about meth or, and, and weed and, 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 and drug paraphernalia. Sometimes it can actually be very simple. Let's watch this one. It's called a Krabby Patty. What? What's in it? It's a secret. But you have to tell me what's in it. I don't. It's a secret formula, Patrick, you goddamn idiot. Of course he can't tell you. And am I the only one that's like freaking out that the Krusty Krab is located right next to the tree dome? That's not the geography of Bikini Bottom. I grew up with this show, you dick. They don't live across the restaurant either. Please, SpongeBob, I'm your best friend. That's a compelling reason, tell him. All right, Patrick, if you must know. It's made with kidney <laughs> Woo! Oh, you know, I spoke way too soon. Of course it was going to go back to drugs. Yes, the secret ingredient in a Krabby Patty is in fact like horse tranquilizer. Jesus Christ. Ooh, oh. I'm not eating now. A few moments later. Hey, SpongeBob. What are you doing? Just sitting here, feeling sorry for myself. I got fired from the Krusty Krab. Rip Bozo, what did you expect, SpongeBob? You leaked out the secret formula, goddamn trade secret. Just be happy you got fired from the Krusty Krab and not sued for fucking millions of, mil whatever their currency is down at the Krusty Krab, uh, Bikini Bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I love about this because you can actually see that in this instance, the AI did in fact string together a storyline, okay? SpongeBob's best friend comes and asks him for the Krabby Patty secret formula. SpongeBob obliges, and Mr. Krabs absolutely fires him. Makes sense. It's a simple script, but I think the uh, sentence enhancers involving ketamine <laughs> really did change it up for people. You can see the novelty of SpongeBob artificial intelligence. Now, of course, uh, this could be an entire episode about SpongeBob's uh, discovery about various drugs and Schedule Three substances, but uh, there is a whole other wave too. So, for instance, people have been using UberDuck AI and like other vocal AI to actually train models of SpongeBob SquarePants, of uh, of Peter Griffin, of Homer Simpson, and they're actually pretty goddamn good. Listen to this one right here. I like that something you should have thought of before you did me. Look, I mean, am I wrong? SpongeBob, it's not that simple. All right, that's not. That's not how business works. Oh, okay then, Eugene, and like me. Tell me how business works. Well, for one thing, you can't just demand an insane starting wage like 15 bucks an hour right off the bat. And why not? Yeah, you heard a pay dispute between SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs. And don't get me wrong, sometimes it really does get heated, ladies and gentlemen. The work. All you do is sit your fat red ass in your office and count your profits because you're nothing but a fucking money-soaking suspect. 
Oh, SpongeBob's getting serious, my boy. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best part about AI. When people aren't using it for really harmful things and just creating goofy memes like this, that's what I think the best part about artificial intelligence really is. And honestly, like, there are cavemen back in the day that if you brought them nowadays and showed them the fruits of their evolution, it would absolutely blow their minds away. Human beings literally were chucking, like, rocks and stuff at tigers back in the day, and now we've evolved into playing around with artificial intelligences. <laughs> Making memes about thug shakers, dude. Now, you a Yakuza fan? I am, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also a family guy lover. And uh, well, the best part about it is if you can, like, just see both of them combined together, listen to how good this one is. Bakamitai. Hey Lois, remember the time I went to Japan and joined the Yakuza? I swear to God, this would actually be the cutaway that they would use for the show. Holy shit. You know, now that I think about it, the greatest use case for AI generated TV shows is Family Guy. Like an entire show centered around cutaways. I am surprised that there is not a 24-7 Family Guy like AI channel. If there was, honest to God, I'm not even joking here. That would be all I would watch, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ, not even messing around here. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this was the SpongeBob Artificial Intelligence uh, PSA. Uh, I would advise you to check that channel out because I can almost guarantee it. Me and my wife have bets pretty much at this point that in the next like week, two weeks, maybe in the next few days, it might actually get taken down because SpongeBob's getting pretty close to TOS territory. And uh, you know, once you get there, obviously it may get struck down. Uh, then I believe the channel may not be able to stream uh, or it might be a warning if it's only the first strike. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Uh, this is me, Mudahar, and um, yeah, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it, I am out.